Welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Express.js and MySQL CRUD tutorial for beginners. Today we are going to learn search functionality which is a essentially an extension of read or a get call basically. In the CRUD we have create, read, update and delete. Search is also a kind of read but the it's a little tricky because we need to pass different uh, the way we pass data is different. So that's why I wanted to cover this also as part of read because if you see the last episode we did, we did a resource reading based on the ID that we pass in the URL. If you have missed out on the first four parts, I'll request you to kindly go through them as we are building the code in an incremental way. It will only make sense if you follow this path. With that being said, let's get started with today's episode and today we are going to implement the search functionality. It's yet another get API call. We will build a query to show matching records. Okay, so we are going to learn how to do a search on different columns and return that data. Finally, we will send back the response with different status codes and do error handling. Right? Perfect. So that being said, let's jump right into code. All right, so this is what we had done last time, which is the read functionality. Today we are going to do search functionality. Okay, so search is also essentially a get call. That means you're trying to collect the data, give the path of it. So I'm saying uh, slash tickets, slash search. Okay, that will be my URL. And then I'm going to write async and request and response and close that here. So this is the structure. And what we'll do, as always, the first thing I do is always to try catch and if it's an error what do we do we will do response dot status and set 500 and return a json error so here you can just mention the error and mention what type of error you can say fail to search the tickets all right so that's for the error handling in the catch now in the try what we need to do is first we will collect the data that we get right collect the query param query that we from the get from the url so we will do const query equal to here we are going to say request dot query dot q okay so you are trying to get the query and why did I write Q is because that's what we'll be sending it as part of the query param. I'm, I'll show you that in the URL. So then we'll write the SQL equal to select star from that means select everything whatever is matching from the table tickets where now this is a condition right. So here we'll write the column names. Now let's say our column names are title and description right so I'm going to write title and then like that means ma any random wildcard matching and then we will say question mark or email or sorry description right title where title like query or description like what will happen is we are putting question mark because that will automatically get replaced in the method that we have implemented earlier in chapter 3 where we are passing values it will replace them in the in the placeholder alright so that that's our query that we will run against the database so now it's time to call the database so we are going to say result equal to await query promise that we had written pass the and here we are just going to um, pass different way here we are going to pass now we have to pass two values right which is here question and question mark so we need two values so in the array what we will do is we will just mention percent percent in the this thing we are going to write so this is a basically a string literal that I'm building and here we are just all we are doing is passing that particular query that we captured this one 
the same thing will be repeated twice uh, because we want the same expression again so just pay attention to when you write this up oh, don't need So just pay attention to this. This is a, a string literal and I'm passing the dynamic value by adding the concatenating this percent percent with this particular value that we receive. So make sure that when you are building, make sure that you give correct values because otherwise it can result into errors. OK, now what do you do when you get the result? OK, so let's say if result dot length ENG length is equal to equal to zero you can okay basically any any result even if it's not matching result or anything you can just send out that data and say set the status and say 200 dot JSON and you'll say just return that particular data right so you can just say dot result dot result so all we are doing is irrespective whether we get one record zero record or ten records we will send it back as it is with status 200 okay that's all you need to do in terms of search so this is a wild card search right now here saying match any like percent percent so that way it would be a wild search and anything that is matching in description or in title will be returned because it's org condition okay so that's all you need uh, to basically implement a search functionality api so let's go ahead and give it this try we started it so now it's still a get call but now you see the url is slash search and we are saying we will pass it via request query so which means i'll pass it like this okay so let's find some data that is matching so we can query go to your database and check here so if you see there is common thing is called creating right so I'm going to pass that as the query and see if I get both the results back in the query and send so it says no matching it says no matching tickets found okay and the status is 404 let's see why tickets slash query uh, dot Q that's fine and then we are saying select matching but it's going to the wrong API let's see ticket slash ID or maybe it's going to this particular API URL because it's taking search slash this thing so what I'm going to do change the sequence so that that ID becomes later and search becomes at the top and now so see here now it's taking the search and returning these two records because there is common word which is creating now I'm going to write a description and I should still see both okay which is here now I'm going to give a vague one which is not there so it's coming empty right so its status is okay because uh, the rest the the API call was successful only thing is no data was found so we can add that condition also and say if result dot length is equal to equal to zero okay we can still send the same response but now we can put a message and say no matching records found okay so basically what this will do is if there is no uh, if there is no matching record it can just say that no matching records found with the status 200 or we can say length first the message or maybe we can add one more parameter and say length and say results dot length comma message okay so what is this now expected comma all right um, so let's do that so in this what I'm going to do results dot length is correct or um, let's check 
this here this is my length results oh okay because it's a result and not results dot length so it's a JSON let's try it here okay let's do it other way so we got a JSON response and this we can expand and say length equal to result dot length okay so here we have the result and the length that we are sending you can do the same thing with message or um, you know uh, instead of just the result uh, we can also add and say how many uh, records were found we can do that also so basically there are variations of how you want to build and show what data but I'm just showing you one use case so here you see message it says no records no matching records found and length is zero right so that way you can uh, create the this is the search functionality and this is where you have the result dot length no matching records or else send the entire result list so that's how you implement search functionality again this is a wildcard search which means that you know it it works on small data but if you're talking of large huge data uh, the approach uh, the solution approach will be different because you don't want to take a toll on the database so yeah those are different ways of how to implement but since we are learning how to do crud uh, this is one of the ways to do search functionality thank you so much for joining in this episode i hope you're learning i hope you're enjoying this series in the next episode we will learn about update functionality and then the delete functionality all right so that's how uh, we'll be proceeding. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you're learning. I hope you're enjoying. Thank you so much for showing love on my channel. See you in the next episode.